The biggest problem that I have with my artwork is motivating myself to continue to create. Uh, it isn't that I don't like to draw or paint or uh, whatever it is I want to do. It's just that I can't motivate myself to continue to work. I don't know if it's the, the workload that I'm pushing myself to do or if it's the, uh, the slow progress that I'm making on the project. Uh, whatever the reason is for it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, what matters is that I don't do it, and I don't like that. Uh, it really irks me. It doesn't upset me uh, more so than it irks me that I just don't get projects done. Mo most of the projects that I have to my name are half finished and collecting dust on my computer. So um, that's why I wanted to revisit the series for the start of the new year. Uh, Let's Do Something was a series that I created made like six episodes or something where I just did whatever I wanted to uh, as long as I did something in the video it was fine and most of them were funny videos or um, like comedic little things or random skits but it was great it was one of my favorite series to work on because I had free reign to do whatever I wanted and it's honestly one of the only series that I was able to get done in a quick amount of time too uh, comparatively to my other videos um, so I wanted to revisit the series and kind of rebrand it uh, so instead of doing random things like whatever I wanted to uh, I want to make each video a log of me pushing myself to do something creatively um, I want to use this series as kind of a, a motivation uh, tool to be able to um, push myself to be more creative and to create more things um so that's why um i, I did one of the easiest uh, ways to to get motivated to work on something for the first video and i decided to revisit one of my old artworks uh, now if you've had, I've never done this as an artist you need to do it because it really motivates you and it really makes you feel good about your artwork so I took a drawing from 2011, I think July of 2011, of this uh, random clown from uh, a failed project that I was working on called Taos. Um, and it, I really liked the drawing at the time, but I mean, you can see it's a really weird looking drawing. It sticks for arms and legs. I don't really know why. I think, wait, I think it was emulating um, Rayman from like the video game character. From the Rayman series, uh, I think I was emulating him when I uh, first designed these characters, um, because you know Rayman doesn't have arms or legs either, uh, and I just gave him sticks to make it different, to make it look uh, unique, I guess. Um, but yeah, revisiting uh, old artworks is a uh, is really really uh, good uh, way to motivate yourself uh, to just create more artwork, because it makes you feel like you've actually made progress over the you know few years in between the uh, two two artworks um, so uh, I, I started this off just to kind of jump start the series and just to kind of make me feel good you know just to show before and after of a crappy drawing and a really good one uh, well maybe not really good but you know I comparatively a really good one um, but with this series uh, what I want to accomplish is um, not really to make something incredible in every video because it doesn't really matter what I make uh, what matters is that every day this year I do something creatively uh, it could be completely failed projects it could be something that's awful that looks terrible but as long as I do it and as long as I feel good about doing it then I feel like it's a success um, I was gonna make this series daily but then I realized how insane that was so right now I'm gonna start doing it weekly if I feel it's going too slow I might do uh, two a week um, and then um, really what I want these videos to be are progress reports so next Sunday I want to make a video talking about each day and what I did each day and then show the uh, the final result unless it's a, a project that I'm working on or a bigger project that I'm working on then I'm probably not gonna show it uh, because they won't be finished and I want to keep them surprises um, so with all that said this drawing was pretty fun to make it was uh, 
It took about a couple of hours to make, probably. I took a break in, uh, in between, which you'll see later on. But other than that, it was really a really simple drawing. Um, and that's the thing about artwork is that you don't have to make, you know, a freaking Mona Lisa. You know, you can make something that isn't that amazing looking that looks fairly simple but as long as you push yourself in some aspect of the artwork then you're growing as an artist and it's a success uh with this one the main aspects i wanted to kind of focus on were getting okay proportions and also getting a pose because i'm not really that great with posing characters uh, i usually just do them in a straight uh frontal pose so uh having the guy with his arm up uh crossed like that and having his uh his knee out his knee didn't turn out that amazing but in what can you do uh and also getting the uh the caricature kind of expression to him getting the really uh insane look to the character that i tried to emulate in the original uh keeping that kind of continuation um going really um, really was important for me uh, I don't know if you saw in the video, but I, I put red lines on the characters to try to keep the proportions right. So I made a new layer and put red lines to see if the arms were, were correct, uh, were correct distance away with the shoulder um, and with the, uh, with the arm length themselves. And I also did that with the legs as well, uh, just to make sure that everything was, uh, was right proportionally and it was all fine and dandy. Uh, you can probably see in the video that I'm taking a break um, and I think it's really really good to take breaks uh, that's another way that I keep myself kind of refreshed whenever I draw is that I work on it for maybe an hour or so and I take a break uh, I go and I you know I lay down today and watch TV because I mean I just woken up when I started working on this drawing so I was still a little tired so I went and rested a bit um, and then I went to go get a drink probably talk to my brother um, probably made lunch too um so taking breaks is really important because not only when does it allow you to revisit it with the new eyes uh but it also um allows you, your brain to kind of like slow down and to kind of um refresh itself uh to really kind of rest itself to where you can come back and just jump into it and um and i really jumped into it and just finished it up uh, so if you ever get to a part where you're stuck on that work like I didn't really know how to draw the legs that well uh, so if you get to a part where you're stuck then definitely definitely take a break and uh, maybe work on another project or revisit um, this one in maybe an hour or so um, so we're getting close to the final result uh, but I wanted to talk about um, pushing myself creatively more um, I wanted to um, kind of tell a story of um, that the filing cabinet that you saw uh, earlier in the video is where I keep all of my loose drawings for every year and I have them um, I have them dated for 2010 all the way to I guess now 2017 I need to make a new folder um, but uh, you probably didn't notice in the video but 2014 15 and 16 uh, really 2015 and 16 were very very small piles uh, which means that I didn't really draw a lot at all uh, during the past two years uh, and that's really because I was just in such a creative rut I didn't feel good about myself as an artist I, I just didn't feel like making anything and um, it really uh, it really just um, got under my skin to where I was like am do I even want to draw anymore uh, and that wasn't good for me um, so I really want to change that in 2017 uh, whether it's digital or uh, traditional uh, it doesn't really matter but I really want to um, to have a full repertoire of artwork again I really want to do something creatively every single day to really feel good as an artist uh, because if you kind of stay stagnant you you never grow and you never feel good you know you just always stay in one spot it's it's not good to stay in one spot like that so so yeah i hope that this series will help alleviate that i hope you enjoyed this first episode uh next week's episode will have a lot more content because it will be an entire week's worth of content uh this is just the first day of the year so i wanted to start it off with the new series i hope you guys enjoyed um 
the first episode of Let's Do Something, and uh, here's to all of us doing something crazy. Uh...